Son. Right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> We're outdoors. It's the great out of doors here on the Mountain Morning Show. And we are joined by Al of Outdoor Cooking with Al. What are we making today? Today we're gonna make some corn fritters in the cast iron skillet. So it's gonna be mm. fun. We're gonna cook them with the briquettes and everything and it's gonna be awesome. So it's great. gonna be great. But, we're gonna uh, start it. Okay. So to get the best flavor out of them, you wanna get corn on the cob. Mm, I love corn on the cob. So you use about two cups of corn. And so that's about two ears, but you just carve it off like this. Ooh, it's a little messy. Real corn, I like that it's not, you could just get a can. Yeah, but. and what's good about, corn's in season right now. Yes, so it is, it this, is the season of tall corn good. without a doubt. And I just <laughs> kinda do those ridges. So that's the main ingredient right there. Perfect. So what we wanna do is we wanna start Terry, right there we have a, a cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So we'll just go ahead and put that in the bowl there. All right. Very good, wow. There. And you then, so you look like you know what you're doing. Well, I got up early, wanted to run a <laughs> few drills, you know, just my personal stuff to get myself <laughs> yeah. ready. Yeah, so let me do this so we can get this preheating while we're mixing this up. I don't going to put this and we're just going to set this trivet right over that coals like this. Mm. I've seen this. Uh, I'm subscribed to a channel on YouTube and the lady made these corn fritters and I never really had them or heard of them. You don't hear about them that much here in Utah. So we made them. I put my own spin to them and they turned out so good. I'm like, I'm going to share it with uh, with the TV when I'm up there. Fantastic. So I just have my cast iron skillet, and then this is grapeseed oil. And high smoke point for the grapeseed oil. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that. We'll just put some of that in there. Hashtag crispy fritters. Yeah. <laughs> and then let's tuck. I don't think I've heard that hashtag. <laughs> tuck some more in there. It's, it's brand new. It's really, really new. Incredibly new. Okay. How long does it's, it take for the skillet to heat up? It's it really should be like 10 up. minutes or so. So we'll mix that up. But yeah, what we have there is a t uh, one and a half tablespoons of melted butter. Just kind of, I melted it and then I had it sitting out here and I checked just before we went on and it had set up. So I had to go back in and get, it, go, get it going again. <laughs> Held the remelter. So there's that. Uh, and then one egg, I just whipped it up. You want to be nice. the mixer? I'd love to be the okay. mixer, Al. Thank you. So we'll just get that. And then I have a cup of milk. There's so milk. I always hold back just a little bit just to kind of see how it's going to mix up because the veggie consistency is different every time. Sure. You know, because so we'll just save a little bit and see how that is. And now all of your recipes are intended to be done outdoors as well, right? You can do this camping. Yeah, a lot of it's outdoors, you know, on my YouTube, you know, a lot of them are Dutch oven, but I have some campfire cooking, some smoker cooking, you know, and we're not doing Dutch oven, but we're outdoors, you know, yeah, absolutely. so so it's fun. You, you know, it's about easy recipes, get outdoors. It's not hard to cook with cast iron or Dutch ovens, you know, get out, have some fun and And it, that. it occurs to me that, that and of course, I'm, I'm not Joe Camper by any means, but I think a lot of people don't get adventurous when they're cooking mm -hmm. while camping. It's just right, like right. buy packaged foods and that sort of thing, but this is a great example of something that, right, with just with your little yeah. set up here. <laughs> How does that feel, Caitlin? Is it, is it thin or should we just put the rest of this in there? Uh, put it in. And then I got a... Uh, you can put any kind of veggies in here. I mean, make it your own, but what I'm gonna do, what I decided to do is oh, I- nice. You wanna give I have, it a stir, sir? I've been dying to give it a stir. <laughs> Terry, I have some zucchini here. Nice. That's in season. And some red uh, pepper. Mm. Get some really nice color in there, the yellow of the corn and the yeah. red of the peppers. Yeah, so we'll just do that. And gives it a little more of a savory cast. Yes. It's looking nice. I'm folding. <laughs> yeah, I'm fold. no, no. This isn't a competition, Terry. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. 
<laughs> yeah. All right, catch, I guess I shouldn't set it on a heating element at yeah, this, this point. Yeah, this isn't it's hot, okay. but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is we can, uh, I like to get my test my oil, so I'm just gonna put that in. When that starts bubbling around the edges, when we can come back and then start building these corn fritters at that point. So I just, you know, instead of putting them all in there and having them all soak in the, the oil, I just do a little dab like that. It'll be, you'll see it'll be start bubbling around the edges and we'll be the grease will be ready, the oil will be ready to go. And if you put too much in the pan, then the temperature drops and then you're, you're right. losing your ability to make that crispy right. fritter, which is what we all want, for yeah. sure. So this is kind of like our little test. So we'll just wait for that to start doing its thing and then we'll be ready to cook them up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, as this is preparing, we will take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with Al. Perry. Hey, everybody. Welcome back, I think. We're just out of range of our wireless communication devices, but that's no excuse. And it really doesn't matter because it's fritter time. It's fritter time, fritter yeah. Fritter time. After cooking with Al, Al and Perry, and it is finally boiling and we're ready to go. Yeah, boiling yeah, yeah I've, I've, cook, I've cooked a batch or so. I've been out here, see? <laughs> Uh -huh. right. Yeah, so every time you do a batch, you actually add a little bit more grapeseed oil because the fritters soak up a little and it heats Take back up. But yeah, it just you just put a little little spoonful nice. like that. Look at that. That's nice sizzle. It's sizzling. So this I'm gonna go ahead and, and make a blanket statement and that is that I'm never ever going camping again without Al. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my policy. Got if Al's not coming, I'm not camping. Yeah. <laughs> My yeah. campaign slogan. I've heard that before. People come camping with us because you can cook. So absolutely. So those will cook. The grease is hot. They'll cook pretty good. But let's go ahead and uh, try this. But uh, I have my YouTube channel. It's just outdoor cooking with Al. We have probably almost 80 videos now, all Dutch oven outdoor cooking and stuff, you know. And then all the great ones we do here on Park City TV or on Park City's YouTube, so check that out. I mean, it's good. So I, I love coming up here every month and cooking up some good food. <laughs> I was just talking to our director, Robbie, in the control room, and he said you gave him a little bite, and it's amazing. Yeah, he, He's raving he, about it. He got the, the test sample that we first, <laughs> Thank you, sir. first put in, but you know, this is just so easy and it's so delicious, you know, like I said, put other veggies in. I mean, the first time I tried it, you could even put syrup on it. I mean, all kinds of stuff. That's what I was thinking but, too. Johnny, kind of like Johnny cakes, mm. as they say yeah. in the South. Mm. Yeah, let's try it. That is really incredible, it really is. Mm. But it I soaks up that- fritter. It <laughs> soaks up that grapeseed oil and it's just so good. Mm -hmm. And the corn, it does. It cooks. The corn cooks up where it's still a little crunchy, but it's just delicious. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Yummy. Apologies to our viewers. <laughs> Taste of Vision is out. Uh, we've, we've got the tech is going to be coming. He'll be here the by the next time Al gets back. You will be able to enjoy the fritters with us, <laughs> courtesy of Tasty. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. So we just encourage oh, get out good. in the outdoors, have some fun, camp, get on my YouTube, watch some stuff. I've had a bunch of people that's never even cooked in the Dutch oven watch my videos. It gives them a confidence, and they'll say, "Hey, I just made this. Or I made this recipe." So my whole point is, you know, it's easy. Just, just try it you know that's why I never done it before because I thought you'd have to know so much about cooking in the Dutch oven and how many briquettes and all that stuff you know once you get going it's pretty simple you know the cleanup's easy just water and for these you don't even need a Dutch oven you just need a skillet no so some ambition <laughs> yeah let's, you need some ambition Caitlin but see that see those these mm. are I I mean I highly recommend giving these a go because they're amazing just golden brown. You just cook them till they're golden brown, and they're beautiful. They're delicious. Outdoor cooking with Al on YouTube. Yep. It's the thing. You got it. You have, if you're not on YouTube, 
you're literally nowhere in 2017. Yeah, and like I said, I've seen this recipe from somebody I'm subscribed to, you know, so sure. you can find yeah, it right. on there. It's, a, it's you know, a matrix. And I've collaborated with some other cooking people, one in Illinois, one in Michigan, you know, oh, and we, we kind of share and comment, and I'll give them a plug about their YouTube, and they'll give me a plug. I actually mailed out some of my cookbooks to some of the guys, so I do have an Outdoor Cooking Without cookbook. I forgot to bring a copy, but it's on eBay. If you type in Outdoor Cooking Without, the cookbook comes up. There's like 36 recipes in that, breakfast, dinners, desserts, all kinds of good stuff. All for camping. <laughs> fantastic. All for camp. Al, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank th you for being a fantastic cook and cooking amazing crispy. <laughs> yes. Much more to come. You'll be chatting with the Renee from yes. KPCW right after this.